So, of course, we'll be uh, really diving into the nitty-gritty of the, uh, the coming year today. Uh, but before we do that, I'd just like to start by, by giving some perspective. And I actually mean that quite literally. <laughs> and what you're looking at here is, I would say, probably one of my favorite all-time photos. Um, actually, I use this as uh, my phone background as well. And uh, it's actually a photo taken from uh, the Cassini-Huygens probe last year. Uh, while it was in orbit around Saturn. I, I love it so much because I think it really captures uh, I think three important lessons for, for us as, as humans. And I think the first one is that it really embodies um, the, the inventiveness of our species. I mean, we're able to put a camera in orbit around a planet 1.5 uh, billion kilometers away, which is just mind-boggling. So I think if you... It really goes to show if, if we put our minds to something, we, we can truly achieve pretty much anything. Um, the second thing it, that I think it shows is um, that we truly live on a blue planet. So if you look at what the arrow points at, that's us. That's our home. That's planet Earth. Um, and if you, you know, of course, if, if you just go and live your, your day and you think about where do we live, you, you probably think about a city or land or forest or, or whatever, but you know, truly from an outside perspective, you realize you know, we don't live on, on planet Earth. We, we live on planet ocean. Um, and uh, I think this picture quite clearly shows that. Um, and thirdly, I think it really inspires a sense of, uh, of humility because you know, our, our entire lives you know, play out on that one single dot, you know, a dot that is really a, an, an oasis. In, in what really is a, a cold and endless uh, desert. And um, as you can see, all around us here is, is, is empty. And uh, this, of course, still a very small part of our universe. Um, we've been sparing out to, very, you know, to billions of kilometers of distance over the past 50 years, and yet we haven't found a single sign of, of any intelligent life uh, being out there. Many astronomers believe that we, we might even be completely alone, which is just a, a completely insane thought. And even if we weren't, we're 100% sure that, that, that life on Earth, in any case, is, is super special. But of course, the problem is we're, we're basically treating it as a, as a second-hand lease car, which leads to the point that I believe we really live in a, in a crucial point of our existence, where we've amassed incredible power, through our technology, through effective organization, and that's something I think we can be really, really proud of. We, we truly live on the, the, you know, the best available time uh, humanity has ever lived, but we haven't really collected the wisdom yet to, to use it wisely, uh, I think thereby putting everything we, we value at, at risk. And I think managing these negative side effects created by our technological civilization is what is the greatest challenge that we, we must solve this, this century. And a challenge like this, you know, it, it ought to, to unleash the, the, the best in our nature, our, you know, our ability to invent solutions, to collaborate, you know, the things that, that gave all this progress in the, in the first place. But of course, instead, you know, what we see is that the dominant response um, is you know, denial on one hand, uh, but of course, alarmism, fatalism, and anger on the other hand. And, the reality is, you know, that's not going to solve any problem, and it also won't inspire anyone else to, to do something about this. And of course, plastic you know, is one such example of a technology that has given humanity a lot. You know, it's easy, it's cheap, it's lightweight, uh, but at the same time has had these side effects that is, is slowly destroying the, the world that, that we all love. So, I think managing the plastic pollution problem is, is of course, not only the, the only problem that we need to tackle, but I do think it's probably the most visible one, and it's the one that is, of course, harming um, the, the world's largest ecosystem, which, uh, which is the oceans. And what, what motivates me uh, to, you know, to work on this every day is, is that I believe we have an opportunity here, you know, not just to, to, or not just to solve a global, a global problem that affects billions of people and, and thousands of other species, but to also inspire the world to, to act together, to, to do something. 
you know, that, um, of course, problems are, are solved not by uh, you know, pointing fingers at things, but to, to really you know, roll up our sleeves and, and, and get working on something. Um, of course, everyone here at the Edge Cleanup loves this, you know, this blue oasis. We, we love scuba diving, surfing, uh, sailing, whatnot. And uh, you know, I cannot wait uh, for one to, to see those clean oceans again. And of course, I'm very proud to be able to share this mission with, with all of you here today. Thank you, Boyan. Um, I guess this is where I try and take control of the screen.